the Differential Scanning Calorie Meter, DSC, can be used to measure a number of characteristic properties of a polymeric sample. Using this technique, it's possible to get crystallization events as well as glass transition temperatures and the degree of curing of the polymers. This is the aluminium pen to measure the dynamic scanning calorimeter uh, or able to uh, measure the glass transition temperature at the degree of curing of the polymeric sample. Initially, we put a small sample of 5 milligrams to 10 milligrams inside of the aluminium pen, close and seal it off. Now we have sealed the sample inside of the aluminium pen and we are ready to put into the DSC instrument for the thermal analysis. Here is the DSC instrument. We bring the sample seal inside of the aluminium pens, open the furnace of the DSC instrument and get ready to put the sample on the right side of the DSC furnace. On the left side, we have an empty pen as a reference, this one here. And on the right side, we have the, the aluminum pen with the sample for the DSC analysis. And close it. Then we are ready to start the DSC analysis of the sample. Depending on the thermal properties of the sample you want to measure, you can set the software on the tests you want standard for the determination of the total heat of reaction or the modulated DSC also known as the MSDC for such properties as the TG value, the melting temperature and the degree of crystallinity. The DSC analysis is done under nitrogen gas to minimize oxidation reactions and obtain only the thermal properties associated with the polymeric material. The glass transition temperature, Tg, is the temperature at which amorphous solid becomes brittle on cooling or soft on heating. The degree of curing determines the amount of the sample, percentage weight, that is cured or polymerized. The degree of crystallinity is the amount of the polymer that is amorphous and the amount that is crystalline, percentage by weight.